Here on the Daddy Curbs farm, sometimes we get some, some interaction with wildlife that's pretty exciting and fun to share. In previous videos, you've seen the hawk in the chicken coop and also the owl, which perished because presumably was killed by the hawk. This time, we get a new interaction with a hawk, and it was just kind of interesting how it happened. Out doing chicken duties at night and just glanced into the rain tank to discover this. Not sure how it ended up in here. Some kind of a hawk. We're going to help it get out. I'm a, I don't want to put my hand in there. I'll have to figure out how to get something up under it. I don't want to just grab it. I'm a, I need... Get some gloves. Poor thing would have drowned. Yep. I wonder what got it in here in the first place. You think it's cold? Well, the water's not cold. Poor guy. He can't fly like this. We're gonna have to put him in a crate or something and keep him inside for the night. These raccoons will eat him. Yeah. I don't want to risk him hurting any of us or himself, so I'm going to attempt to scoop him, scoop him into the cage. And if we keep him in the cage overnight, He'll dry out and then we can let him go in the morning. I'm really curious how he even got in here. And how long? How long has he been in here? Yeah. I mean, he's floating. That's good. I see a frog. Maybe he saw something and was diving in to get it. That's possible. Okay, okay Luke, do you need to scoot back? No, he's got to make sure his feet are on something. Okay. Okay, he's fine. He's so skinny. I guess he hasn't had any chicken lately. He's hungry. I don't usually think about how small they actually are. His eyes are huge. So it, is it a hawk? Yeah, it's a it's hawk. A is it's it a, a Cooper's? I thought. I think so. Maybe it's a red shoulder. I don't know. Well, we're gonna let him dry out. I, I want to keep him safe while he's drying out because we just don't know. And then tomorrow we'll open the cage. Hopefully tonight you can dry out and uh, be ready for flight tomorrow. We're just putting a cage around it to add an extra barrier just in case raccoons come up. All right, little guy. Stay safe, get dry, we'll see you in the morning. Now that it's morning, you can see the hawk in the cage. This is the same cage that I used to scoop it out of the water. We are guessing that this is a red-shouldered hawk. That's our best guess. When I called the organization, the rescue organization, their suggestion was to make sure that it's completely dried out and then just open the cage and see if it can fly. If not, if it's having difficulty flying, if it uh, seems to not want to get into the air, then we can call them back and they will have somebody come out and pick the bird up and rehabilitate the bird. You can see in the bottom of the cage, that frog, the dead frog that was laying in the bottom of the tank, I put it in here and that bird did have a meal last night, which is encouraging. So now that it's daytime and the bird appears to be all dried out and happy. Well, it didn't look happy, but uh, we're going to try to let it go.
We're gonna try it first just to open the cage and see if he'll go out on his own. Hopefully that works. I don't think he likes me being here. We have several cameras set up now. I'm going to set this one up and we're going to walk around the corner, hopefully uh, giving this guy the idea that it's okay to move. It's probably a little intimidating for him to have us sitting here. We're trying to be respectful of distance, but uh, he probably still doesn't want to come out of the cage with us sitting here. So we're going to set the camera up and walk away. Is yours running? Yeah. All right, let's walk around the corner. Clearly this isn't working, so I'm going to see if I can just encourage him to move a little bit. Once he gets out of the wire cage, I'm hoping he figures out that he's free and he can go home. Here we go. Out the door. Out the door. There you go. Now you're out. Okay, let's pull this away. There you go, you're free. I'm just gonna close the gate. See? Now you're out. Now we just need to make sure you can fly. Why is he flying away? We don't know. There we go. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Here we go. Bye bye, big bird. That's precisely what I wanted to see, was that bird fly up, sit in a tree, and just look healthy. And I think it does. That was very cool to be a part of that bird's journey. I, if we would have left it in the tank overnight, chances are he would have drowned. So giving him, getting him out of the water and into a safe place to dry out and then space to fly away, well, that was pretty cool. We probably didn't do everything exactly right because we're not experts, but it's, uh, it was good for us. I feel like it was good for us to call Last Chance Forever, which is the bird rescue and uh, take their advice and also to keep an eye on the bird as it flew away to make sure that it was going to be healthy enough to fly and go back into nature otherwise it could have been rehabilitated thank you so much for being a part of my story here today here on the daddy curbs farm we believe that everyone has a story and every story counts so thank you for being a part of mine and allowing me to be a part of yours i'll talk to you soon